Hey, Rob here again with another PGX unboxing. Uh, posted my first video the other day. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. It was a 30 box run. Um, and at the time I mentioned I had some others out. Sure enough, new bot, new order came in. Uh, my other two outstanding orders that were at PGX came back. Uh, one of them came back, it's actually a week early, so it was only about, about four weeks. And the other one was about a week late. So it was about six weeks all together, but still great turnaround time. I'm going to go ahead and open this up here. And this time, hopefully, we looks like we've adjusted our glare issue that we've had previous on the last one. So we'll go ahead and open this up. This one should be a shorter one. This is going to be some older books. Um, a couple that I know are going to be really low grades that were really tore up. But we'll take a look here. Um, again, we've got our packing pants all over the place here. I'm going to try not to spill them all over the place. Uh, some, some bags for uh, board bagging these up here. And let's see, can I get this out of here? Uh, it's now getting peanuts all over the place. Wow, come on. Sometimes it pays to have a big gut and block these peanuts from going all over the place, I tell you. Alright, now we got a hole. Here we go. Alright. Let's move this box out of the way. And for the most part, we managed to keep the packing peanuts out of the way. Alright. Again, good bubble wrap up peanuts. No issues there with um that being taken care of. If you, if you didn't see my last video on there, just as an update, I did mention at the time uh, when I was opening up those ones, we had discovered there was a cracked slab uh, in the box. Uh, reached out to PGX, no problems there. Twenty-four out within twenty-four hours, I sent the email on a Sunday, uh, along with some pictures of the slab, and uh, let them know and. Within 24 hours, had a response back from from there. Them again, usual great customer service. Not a problem. Uh, we we arranged to go ahead and have that sent back to them, and they uh, went out yesterday. They're going to go ahead and correct it, put a new slab on there. No big deal. So again, great customer service. Response time. I've always had great response time from them uh, on the emails. So it is a nice pleasure to have that. Um, let's see. All right. We'll go ahead and crack into these guys here and see what we got here. Um, oh, yes. Yes, yeah, so exactly right. Old <laughs> amazing, amazing Spider-Man number 42. Uh, this guy here, this, the light on my camera is going to show that. Let me try to turn that off. There we go. Uh, of course, you get a reflection of the of the computer screen in there. Number four, two. This is the uh, third appearance of Mary Jane, the first full uh, face shown and uttering those famous words. Uh, let's face it, Tiger, you hit the jackpot right in there. I love Mary Jane. Um, super excited to get this book in my, uh, my hands. Um, it was one of three books that a guy I mentioned before, a guy had been dealing with a bunch of Batman stuff on back and forth. He had these books. He was looking to get rid of them. They weren't in good condition. As a matter of fact, one of them we're going to get to, the cover was actually separated from the book. But they're old, they're silver age. And we came to a price that was like, it was hard for me to say no. Um, and so got this pressed and clean. I mean, it is rough. I did not get grading notes on these. Um, I should have asked for them, although, I mean, the grading notes are pretty obvious on this one. There's stains on it. It has got a really, really rough edge. The pages are yellow. I mean, even the back covers, all you, all you can see, it's not white at all. Um, so there's really no question about that. But a 4.0 uh, was better than I was having. I had this. I expected um, that we, and I say this. I should preface. So I have not, I'm not an expert, right? I'm not even uh, a pseudo wannabe expert. To be perfectly honest, I haven't, although I've been dealing with comic books um, 
for a while. I started obviously as a teenager uh, in the 80s and 90s and then got out of it for a while. When the new 52 launched, I got back into it reading digital comics and then eventually switched back into paper comics and started rebuilding out some collections and stuff. And now I've become really kind of interested in it. I've read a lot of videos, but I really didn't deal with slabbed or graded comics until uh, this past summer. Uh, the summer of 2019, I uh, went with my sister to uh, Comic Con and uh, local Comic Con and kind of got interested in them and kind of just kind of spun off from there. So I don't have a lot of experience in self grading comics. So when I say preface something by saying this is what I kind of thought it was, I really don't, I haven't been in this game long enough to really have a good frame of reference. It's just purely based off of my interpretation of what the reading of the grading scale means. Um, so as I go, I'm learning more and more and finding what comes back is what and getting that one. But I had hoped that this could come back about a three and a half. So I wasn't too far off. It came back as a four. Um, so that is uh, great to know. I'm happy to have this in my thing. Big long line. I mean, see, you can see, I mean, this is not a book that's in great condition, uh, but at a four, it's good. It's still going to show off well, and it's nice to have a have that in my collection. And this next one, oh, this has got to be the one with the separate cover. <laughs> yeah, two and a half. Um, original, the origin of the Green Goblin, Amazing Spider-Man number forty. Uh, again, this is another one of those ones where, I mean, you can see if I get it in here right, the cover doesn't even line up, you know, anymore on the back side. I mean, it's. At the staples it's bad it's going to part there's stains there's you know from tape marks or whatever and uh lots of folds and everything else there was really no need to get grading mark grading notes on these because you look at it it's rough uh two and a half was actually right where i had expected this this guy to come in so uh no shock there i can see that the next one here is the one that was the worst of them and i'm <laughs> When I said that, I expected it to maybe come back a 1.8. So let's see what the, what the damage was on this guy. This is the one where the cover is completely separated. Um, oh, 2.5. Um, again, I thought it could come in as a 2.5. I didn't, of course, I say again, but I didn't actually say that before I flipped it over. I had thought in my head it could be based on some interpretation of the um, grading code and how it pertains to covers being separated from the books. Um, but to soften my own expectations, I had kind of put it down as a one eight uh, conservatively. So two two five was at the high end of what I expected it could be. Uh, again, the, this is of course the first John Romita cover. Uh, what the reason I had to make sure I picked this one up, um, and the cover is there. It's good, you know, from an art perspective. It's obviously beat up. The cover is separated from the book. Um, the corners are really bad. Lots of, I mean, just folds and creases. Or as you could tell that this was a book uh, staining. You know, this is a book that somebody loved hard, <laughs> read harder. Um, but still, uh, you know, I didn't want to spend a ton of money on a book, but it's nice to be able to just sometimes have a book like this just to say, hey, yeah. I got Ramita's first cover. And if you're a person like me, I don't really do a lot of these for value. I'm not necessarily chasing. I don't, I don't somehow magically believe that somehow comic books are going to pay pay for my retirement. Let's be honest. Uh, you know, Aside from a few books, that's just not going to be the case. Uh, what they are to me is I appreciate the art. Um, and so a lot of the books that I send off to be graded have to do with the artwork. Although some of them have to do once they get to a certain maybe value or a key issue type thing, then I'll go ahead and have it uh, slapped. But so it's nice to have John Romita's first Spider-Man uh, in there. All right, let's see what's next here. This is going to be a new one. Oh, Amazing Spider-Man 2099, 9.8. I am a huge fan of Spider-Man and a huge fan of Miguel O'Hara's Spider-Man 2099. Uh, so, super stoked to uh, get myself uh, a nine eight on this guy here. I have I had a CGC one that was a nine six. Um, I got this. I picked up this raw this book raw, um, and it looked beautiful. And was eager to send it off and hope to get a nine eight. And sure enough, 
got that. And so this one is going to be in my personal collection for a long, long time. That 9.6 CGC becomes horse trading bait. Cool. All right, Secret Wars number eight. First appearance of the alien symbiote costume, uh, later to become Venom, 9.6. Uh, this was uh, this was just an eBay find. Again, uh, you know, reasonable price, nothing too too, too bad, uh, good condition. Looks, but you know, I did not expect a 9.8 from it. I could only, I could pray and hope, but it's been red and it's got some marks along the side and the corner's not perfectly crisp. It's got a little foxing up in this top corner. Very, very mild. Um, and just one or two little minor ticks there. I really should have gotten a great... Oh, I did get grading notes on this one. Minor foxing on back cover, slight dirty back cover, minor edge wear, several stress lines along the spine. So there you go. I forgot the... I, I prefer I get it. Let me see if I can get this. Uh, here we go. So on the back here, again, this is for a five dollar fee if you request it from uh pgx you can have them put the grading notes on the back and so what i typically do and the, the reason i guess is the first three i sent the were a separate submission i didn't request it because i knew they were like really bad condition but the, this is part of my uh, again this is a combo shipment all together part of my other shipment where i did tell them my usual which is if it's less than a nine eight please put the grading notes on the back they charge me five bucks a book and there you go they put the grading notes right on the back so you know exactly what it is what's going on so yeah perfect nine six asm or secret wars just add that's one of those books you just gotta have right it's a key book what we got here this one i'm not even gonna flip it around yet first well let's flip it around what we got okay detective comics 578 yeah this is uh the mcfarland covers we get nine four. We have slight browning, browning of interior cover, uh, several light stress lines on the back cover. There's definitely browning. I mean, you can. There's no doubt about that. You can, you can see along the edges of the book itself. And other than that, I mean, it displays really nice, and that's uh, that's really great. Um, I got these were like a mistake. There should be four of these here. Um, I picked up these I, I was ordering Batman books um, trying to fill in my run of my Batman uh, volume one and I ordered these because the numbers were what I needed and I didn't pay attention to the fact that these were detective comics and not the Batman series so I ended up with these but I was pleasantly surprised that they were McFarland books and on top of that that the price I paid I think I paid Twenty-four dollars for all four of these. This four of these books, Part One, Batman Year Two. Uh, so another nine four. Uh, what we got here? Slight browning, browning of interior cover. Uh, several minor stress lines on the front cover. So yeah, same basic notes, same thing we expect. These books were all together in a in a lot. There are sure a couple minor ticks and browning along the edges. So everything's good. Nine four, part two of the story again. Slight browning, browning on interior cover. Several minor stress lines on front cover. Geez, you'd think they were all together. They're all exactly the same, right? Nine fours, same basic description on the back. All came from the same home. They were all stored the same way. Here's the last one. Sure enough, nine four. Look at that. Slight browning, browning of interior cover, slight stress marks along the spine. So there you go. They, they read like carbon copies of one another, but you know, it's fair. It's a great looking book. The display is nice. You know, you can't go wrong with the Farland art. And uh, yeah, 9 4, I'll take it. Okay. Ooh, wow. I have never, never before in my life seen that number right there on a comic <laughs> 10 gem mint look at that batman 23.4 this is the lenticular uh covers there's actually gonna be all four of them here all 23.1 2 3 and 4 so we'll see if uh 
how we do on those other ones. But wow, that is super exciting for that 3D. I guess it's not lenticular. It's actually the uh, 3D cover. Uh, so there's the Bane. Drum roll. Para another 10. Look at that. Penguin number one. This is uh, our 23.3 uh, for Batman. Woof. That is sexy. I mean, I knew they were good, in good condition. Um, but damn. I guess it helps that those, the uh, 3D covers, it's that extra hardy cover, you know. It's just, it helps. It's just like today's cardstock covers, except even more sturdier. Uh, it really helps to preserve that. And uh, the fact that the guy who I got, the, got him from really took care of his comic. So 9.9. Uh, .9. There on 23.2 with the Riddler. I, I dig this cover. I mean, this it doesn't really show up on the maybe it does a little bit, but the the cane just really pops three dimensionally off this cover. It looks just great. The layers of the art, the depth of field going back in there, the, the dungeons up back in there. I mean, that is just looks beautiful. The layers. Oh, even the back covers have a little bit. All right. Last one of the four. Let's see, 23.1. What do we get, folks? Patow, 9.8. Now I'm disappointed with a 9.8. Whoever gets disappointed with a 9.8, after seeing two 10s and a 9.9, you get all excited, and then you get a 9.8, and you go, oh. But <laughs> it's 23.1 and the one with the Joker. Again, great view. Three, the depth of field is amazing. The gun pops out. This is just a great cut. I'm looking at it way back here and not doing a good job of paying attention to the camera. I apologize to you all, but um, this is just great. Um, super excited. Wow. All right, here we go. Uh, this one is not a high one. This one's got some notes on the back. We have a uh, slight production tear on back cover. And several straight, slight stress lines on the back cover. All right, let's see. I do see the production tear. Um, I haven't even turned it around yet to tell you what it is, but we do have uh, a little tear right there on the back there. And we'll flip this around. And oh, here we go. Amazing Spider Man 361 98. But it is a production tear, so they are not dinging it too hard. And some minor stress lines along the back cover. It gave me. Where is see minor stress lines? Where do you see it? Oh, oh, Jesus. One little itty bitty. Okay, cool. 9 8 right there on Amazing Spider Man 361. Uh, hot book right now, right? With uh, the new Venom coming out and rumors and all that other stuff. Carnage, super hot book. But a key that I had to add to my collection. You know, you get your first Venoms, you got those things, and uh, if you're doing Spider-Man you don't have Carnage, you don't have First Parents of Venom, you don't have some of that stuff, you, you're just missing books. So, happy to pick this one up. I got, I grabbed this one, to be honest, from, uh, I like to give the shout-outs where I get some things from. This one came from Nucadia. Uh, fucking love Nucadia. Uh, part of my language. But those guys, you know, tons of old books uh, available, huge inventory, uh, quick delivery, great customer service. Uh, and fair pricing and they you know have granted their grading systems their uh, grading systems not the same not in line with this grading system but it works out well um, sorry my work is calling me I'm gonna disconnect that book so anyways we got nine eight on that book that is awesome last book we have today this is my um, I know which book this is this is gonna be my killing joke my very first uh, first edition, Killing Joke, we got a 9-6. First print, the kill, Batman the Killing Joke. And our notes, several slight stress lines on front cover. Well, yeah. This was a this was a grab from my local comic book shop. Picked it, They had it on the, on the wall you know, a while back. Just picked it up. It's great to have a, one of those keys you got to have in your book there, Killing Joke. Awesome, 9-6.
that was a great, great piece of great uh, run there. I, love, I, love, I think that was a great batch. I'm going to do another video very shortly because actually I got a call um, from my LCS uh, yesterday. If you um, watched my first video that I did, I mentioned my CGC um, order that I sent out in November uh, and that it hadn't arrived yet. This has been April of 2020. Um, so it's been over six months. Uh, they called and those books finally arrived. It's like, if you make fun of them on YouTube, I guess then your book suddenly materialized. <laughs> it was just the way it was. So uh, I'll be shooting another video later on tonight to post up that will uh, have the unboxing of those uh, four CGC books. Hope you'll check that out. In the meantime, guys, go out there, uh, enjoy your book comics, uh, and support your local comic book stores uh, however you can. If they're doing um, you know, gift cards, whatever, during this time, no new comics are coming in. They need your help to survive. Local comic book stores are the lifeblood of the industry. Uh, see what you can do to help them out. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and uh, take it easy.